Parents had to make the choice weeks ago and soon tens of thousands of kids will be heading back to in person learning in the new year, even while COVID is more widespread than ever. Before this new school year began, I interviewed Nicholas Navarro, who is having his two kids start the year in virtual school. He planned for them to go back to face to face for the second semester because he believed COVID rates would be more under control. But now he feels it's still too risky to send them in. Uh, we will not be feeling that we're doing the right thing with them. After Christmas break, many kids will be going back for the first time. In Orange County, officials expect 18,000 more students in brick and mortar schools. Seminole County says close to 7,500 are returning. The first semester has shown that schools are not immune to the virus. Orange County's dashboard showing almost 2,100 COVID cases so far, including over 1,300 students. The good news, according to Orange County's top health official, is that the spread is not happening inside the schools. It's happening at home and parties. It's happening out in the community. For Navarro, the COVID numbers, plus the fact that his job allows him to stay home, were the deciding factors. Uh, I live close to a high school. And that high school got closed for two weeks due to COVID. So we decided that because our work is allowing us to be, um, to be working from home, that they're going to continue the distance learning. Like many, he's hoping that people will take personal choices to help limit the spread and that the vaccine brings the virus under control. Because even though his kids are doing well in virtual, he wants them back in school. Yeah, I am disappointed because uh, the kids need to have interaction with their friends. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not the same. In Orange County, Bob Hazen, West 2 News. And so